We would like to welcome everyone tonight to the fourth annual Senator Edgar H. Price, Jr. Lifetime Achievement Award Dinner. This award is named for a special man who is most likely the most respected man in Manatee County and throughout the state, for that matter, Senator Ed Price. And tonight's recipient is Dr. George Thomas, also a highly respected individual. <clears throat> Dr. Thomas has contributed greatly to his community in various ways, and he is deserving of this award, and you will hear more about him later. At this time, would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation. The presentation of the colors is presented by the Lakewood Ranch High School Army Junior ROTC. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our invocation tonight is offered by Father Frank Huberger of the St. Peter and Paul Apostle Church. We have a replacement, I'm sorry. Yourself, He's, uh, hi, uh, um, Father couldn't be here. I'm uh, also Dr. George Thomas, but uh, his son. Anyways, uh, <laughs> dear Lord, uh, thank you for the uh, great opportunity to uh, gather, and uh, thank you for uh, everything that you've been able to provide for us, and uh, the uh, example that uh, the uh, we have provided to uh, serve everyone. Uh, Today, we uh, thank you for your, the food that we will receive and uh, for the uh, fellowship that we uh, can experience with each other. Thank you. Before you're seated, give a nice hand to the Lakewood Ranch ROT High School. And now you may be seated. Thank you. It is my pleasure tonight to introduce to you the CEO of Manatee County Rural Health Services. Mickey Prichet has been a progressive and stable leader of Manatee County Rural Health Services for many, many years. He and the board of directors have taken this organization to heights many thought was impossible. But Mickey is a believer in what he does, and he is an exceptional leader. Manatee County Rural Health Services is unequaled in size and in services. And it is not just the several facilities that they have, but the many professional staffers, and it is an institution that has been created by the success of Mickey and his employees. Ladies and gentlemen, join with me in welcoming the Chief Executive Officer of Manatee County Rural Health Services, Colonel Mickey Prichet. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Charlie. And thanks to all of the people who are out here to support us tonight. It's a great event, and it looks great inside of here. I think you will agree with me. Um, it's good to see so many people out, and um, just want to say thanks to all of our sponsors. Um, so great to see so many friends. 
I really enjoy this event every year and uh, look forward to seeing everybody and having a good, good event. I want to introduce my board to you tonight. Um, the chairman is Gary Lowe. Everybody knows the former chief of police in Palmetto. Uh, immediate past president, is, I mean, uh, chairman is uh, Ms. Juanine Lowry. Dr. Carlos Mendez is our vice chairman. Ms. Livia Leva, secretary treasurer. Dr. Lynette Edwards, assistant superintendent for public instruction is on our board. Welcome to you. Mr. Reggie Rosazzo, Attorney James Wallace, Mr. Willie Weems, and Mr. Victor Young. Our newest board members are Patrick Cunningham and Ms. Esparzana Gamba. And of course, we have emeritus members, Ms. Lucinda Mendez, Attorney Leon Robinson, and ex officio member, Mr. Mark Lazarus. No event like this can be pulled off without a great staff, so I'd like for you to join me in giving my staff, and staff, would you please stand up, a great round of applause. You guys are awesome. Without you, this could not be possible. So I really thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the great work that you do. Um, lastly, I want to... Um, Thank my, oh, before I do that, no, no organization can run without somebody like Sivia. Where's Sivia? Sivia's been with me since 1984. Special assistant. <laughs> then, of course, I, I have my son here. I used to call him Wonder Pup when he was a little boy. Uh, now he prefers to be called Walter, so thanks for coming out to support Dad. And lastly, I want to give a shout out to a very special young man. Uh, he's done a new book called The New Health Age, The Future of Healthcare in America. Where's Jonathan Fleece? You might want to take that book. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mickey. I saw Wonder Pub here, by the way. Just a little while. <laughs> I have some. Uh, some special people tonight to recognize uh, several public officials and I noticed a couple of them slipped in on me as well without our names here so hopefully I got everybody but uh, let me begin our dignitaries tonight begin with the sheriff of Manatee County Brad Stubbe and his wife Debbie A uh, guy that I know real well, uh, known him for many, many years. He's Palmetto Police Chief Rick Wells and his wife Lou. <laughs> Palmetto Mayor Shirley Groover Bryant. <laughs> Former Congressman Dan Miller. County Administrator Ed Hunziker. I'm assuming all of you are standing. It's hard to see you from up here. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Judge Charles Williams with the uh, Circuit Court Judge. Judge Williams, thank you for being here. I saw um, our former state representative, Bill Galvano. Where are you, Bill? Right, Bill? And from the Manatee County School Board, Julie Aranabar. Julie. And Karen Carpenter. Robert Gauss. My friend, Barbara Harvey. and a great friend, Harry Kanan. 
And I didn't mean that you're not a great friend, Barbara. I love you. Uh, from the uh, Manatee County Commission, we have uh, Commissioner uh, Larry Bussell. Thank you, Larry. Commissioner John Chappie. Commissioner Donna Hayes. Commissioner Robin, Robin De Sabatino. Commissioner Carol Whitmore. Commissioner Joe McClash. And a candidate for the County Commission, Vanessa Ball. Also, uh, Dr. Thomas Udley with the uh, Huntington Healthcare Group. Are you here, doctor? Please stand. We have some uh, people here that have sponsored this event, and they've done it for years, and so financially, what an asset they are to us to be able to, to put on this special event tonight that not only honors people like Dr. Thomas, but also honors Senator Ed Price. And those presenting sponsors, I'd like for them to please stand if they're representatives of here tonight. Freedom Health, uh, Huntington Health Care, and National Development Corporation. Would all of you please stand? Thank you much. You are premium sponsors, and we appreciate you so very much. And thanks for being with us all these years to assist us in this. We also have uh, Riverside uh, Real Estate. Do we have representatives from Riverside? And thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, and friend sponsors, uh, Blaylock Lock Walters and also McKesson. Do we have representatives from those organizations? There's, there you are there. Thank you so much. Now, we will be back shortly with tonight's program. But in the meantime, would you enjoy the sounds of Dr. Melvin Price, who is a physician at, who, at uh, Manatee County Rural Health Services. And we've heard him before. He's quite delightful. And also Keith Carmen, while dinner is being served. Enjoy your dinner.
Thank you very much, Dr. Price and Keith. Give them a nice hand, will you please, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping uh, things I, I overlooked uh, from the City of Bradenton, City Councilman Harold Byrd. Would you welcome Harold Byrd? Thank you. And just a special note to, uh, in, my, in my time in office and, and with Sheriff Stubbe as well, a person that was very, very good to our department, sponsoring many, many events. I would just like uh, to, at this time, welcome Bob Bell. Mr. Bell, I see you there. Stand up, stand up, Bob Bell. Thank you, thank you for it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. John McKay is, uh, is, is a friend to Mickey, he's a friend of myself, and uh, he's been a dear friend to Manatee County Rural Health Services. And this obviously is not his first rodeo. He served as a Florida state senator, but even more than that, he was the president of the Florida Senate. And now he is the chairman of the Manatee County Rural Health Services Foundation. And we're delighted that he is the chair, and he's a wonderful chair. And at this time, I'd like to introduce to you John McKay. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate that introduction. I would, um, you all have been thanked for being here tonight, and I would like to add my thanks. Uh, this is a wonderful organization, and your support of Manatee County Rural Health Services is important to the entire county. This dinner tonight is um, the largest event that we have during the year. And the dinner tonight, I'm proud to say, is the largest one with, that we have ever had. It's a... It's a joint effort of the Foundation Board and of the Manatee County Rural Health Services staff. The staff has already been recognized tonight, and I, I'd like to extend my appreciation to them as well. Uh, but I'd, and I'd also like to recognize the board members. So when I call your name, if you'd please stand up, I certainly appreciate it. Bruce Mead, never hard to find Bruce. John Fitzgerald. Where's John? It is hard to see from up here. Charlie, you can stand up. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Don Woodruff. And Mickey. Mickey Perchet. Everybody is committed to this organization. You know, tonight, in addition to having to bestowing the honor of uh, the Edgar H. Price Lifetime Achievement Award on George, we also want to share with you the good works of Manatee County Rural Health Services. Manatee County Rural Health Services was founded in 1977 out of a real need that was identified by many of you in this room. It's that vision that made it possible for us to serve over 85,000 of Manatee County citizens last year. 85,000, that's a lot of people. For those of you that are not intimately familiar with all the things that Manatee County Rural Health Services does, we're gonna show you a short video right now so that you'll better understand the service that they provide our community. In 1978, community leaders saw a health care need for those in rural parish. Because of their efforts, Manatee County Rural Health Services was founded. Thirty-three years later, with vision, leadership, and dedication, Manatee County Rural Health Services has grown to serve over 85,000 patients a year providing them with over 410,000 visits. Community residents 
can come to one of more than 20 healthcare services facilities knowing that they will be seen regardless of their ability to pay. With a network of over 80 medical providers and hundreds of clinical staff, we serve Manatee, Sarasota, and DeSoto counties. Our commitment to our patients is unparalleled, and we're proud to have received the Joint Commission Gold Seal Accreditation for the past 12 years. Our physicians are dedicated to ensuring patients have access to comprehensive quality health care, including specialty care throughout every stage of their lives. We are the largest federally qualified health center in the southeastern United States. Manatee County Rural Health Services receives less than 10% of its funding from federal grants, and for every dollar we receive, we provide $4.47 worth of medical services. Manatee County Rural Health Services is dedicated to being a community partner. Our staff hosted or was present at more than 40 health fairs and screenings this past year, free health screenings including vision, dental, diabetes and cholesterol identify health issues for many who might otherwise go undetected. This year Dr. George Van Buren joined up with clinical and support staff to donate their time and talents to provide free sports exams to over 400 Manatee County students of all ages. We partner with many community service organizations, such as the Veterans Stand Down Program, and provide health care services to those in need. Our case managers focus on the whole person, often teaching patients how to help themselves. Dedicated staff saw more than 2,500 patients in the past year. It's so rewarding to be a nurse case manager for Manatee County Rural Health Services. We started nurse case management about three years ago, and since that time, we've increased to six case managers. We have some that go into the hospitals, some that work with the high-risk patients, some that see patients in the nursing facilities. And every time I come to work in the morning, it's just so wonderful to know that there's gonna be people I'm gonna be helping every day. And when I hear the phone calls from the, these patients that tell us, I'm so glad you're here for us. We really need you. And know that I'm providing services for them and also that I'm helping to empower them so that they can get these services for themselves as well. It's just a, it's just a great thing and a great program. We understand some of our patients are on tight budgets. Every client of Manatee County Rural Health Services has access to reduced priced medicines. Beyond these savings, the staff works with national drug companies to continue to make needed prescription drugs obtainable. We also offer durable medical equipment at greatly discounted prices. Manatee County Rural Health Services is on the cutting edge for community health care centers to ensure that we reach our entire community, we added services to take care of those in assisted living and skilled nursing facilities. We expanded our mental health services. A new OBGYN center opened in West Manatee. Orthopedic services are now being offered to our patients. Manatee Pediatrics has been renovated to accommodate a growing demand. Dentrix electronic oral health record system was implemented, enhancing patient care by providing better continuity of care by complementing our extensive electronic medical record system. Last year, local hospitals diverted approximately 65,000 non-emergency patients to our facilities. The cost savings to Medicaid and ultimately to the taxpayer was in the tens of millions of dollars. We are a healthcare system that continues to anticipate and meet the needs of our community. I believe that our growth confirms what I know to be true. 
and that is Manatee County Rural Health Services is and continues to be an invaluable community asset. One worth coming to for your health care needs and one worth supporting. I'm sure you'll agree with me that it's very easy to see how important Manatee County Rural Health Service is to our community. It's truly a safety net, providing health care for all people. The important question is where would our community be without it? And the answer is it'd be in dire straits. This foundation is committed to supporting Manatee County Rural, rural Health Services. Our goals are two to ensure the continued financial viability of Manatee County Rural Health Services and to secure funding for capital projects and services that meet the health care needs of our community. We believe that health care is not a privilege, but a right that should be afforded everyone, regardless of their ability to pay. <laughs> Mickey's also all Mickey is often quoted as saying we treat everyone, whether they have one dollar or a million dollars, with the same respect and quality of care. That's why along with you and my wife Michelle, and I, my wife Michelle and I are staunch supporters of Mickey Perchet. We are convinced that the success of this organization is a re direct result of his leadership skills. His commitment to Manatee County Rural Health Services is a true community asset. So I'd ask you right now to stand with me and give a round of applause to our leader, a man who'd I follow in a battle anywhere, Colonel Mickey Perche. Mickey, thank you for your dedication. You're a true leader. I'd be remiss of, as the foundation's chair if I didn't remind you that your support makes a difference, not just for Manatee County Rural Service, Health Services, but for the many that are living in our communities that depend on its health care, the health care it provides. So I encourage you to do what Michelle and I have also done, and that's to include us in your annual giving. Trust me, we'll be in touch with you to ask for your help. Now we get to the purpose, main purpose of this evening, and that's our honoree for this evening. The Edgar H. Price Lifetime Achievement Award has been bestowed only three times before this evening. Recipients have been selected because of their leadership and because of their service to our community. Their personal contributions, both financial and physical, are a, a testament to their hard work and their dedication to others. The Edgar H. Price winners have, co have consistently shown that they are willing to go that extra step to unself unselfishly serve others. The past recipients are Senator Price, the award's namesake, somebody that's been a role model to so many people, former Count Manatee County Commissioner Pat Glass, and Hal and Joe McRae. I'd like for those individuals to stand, and I'd like for all of you all to give them applause, recognizing their tremendous contributions. <clears throat> Tonight, we get to add to that illustrious list, my friend, Dr. George Thomas. George has earned the right to join this list of special people. George has accomplished and achieved so much. To read all of his accomplishments will take more than the we had, time we have this evening.
However, there are a few points that I'd like to bring to your attention. George is a cardiologist and co-founder of the Braden Cardiology Center, where he served as president and CEO until 2007. He's involved in many health, health organizations, both locally and at the national level. That involvement includes serving as a member and chairman of the Florida Board of Medicine. Dr. Thomas was asked by Governor Jeb Bush to stay, serve on the State Board of Community Colleges. President George W. Bush asked him to sit on the National Heart and Lung and Blood Institute Advisory Council of the National Institute of Health. He chaired the International Medical Graduate Section of the American Medical Association. Dr. Thomas received the Distinguished Doctor of the Year Award from the Florida Association of Physicians. Those are just a few of George's tremendous list of accomplishments, a very small sample. I would encourage you to read more about Dr. Thomas in your program that's in front of you this evening. After reading that, it's very easy to understand why he is this year's Senator Edgar H. Price Lifetime Achievement Award winner. George, congratulations. He's also my cardiologist, too. <laughs> this time, I'd like to turn the program back over to Sheriff Wells for the award presentation. Charlie? Thank you, John. Thank you very much, John. And John will be staying with us uh, up front at the uh, podium, and uh, Mickey will join us in just a few minutes, along with Dr. Thomas. And we will make that presentation. But first, there have been a couple of people that could not be here tonight, but wanted to say some special things about Dr. Thomas. So Charles, if you could put us on, baby. Good evening. If possible, I'd rather be with you uh, there tonight, but my congressional duties require me to be in Washington, D.C. for votes. But I want to thank Mickey and the Manatee County Rural Health Services pro for providing quality health care in the region and for this opportunity to help honor my friend, Dr. George Thomas, for his leadership and accomplishments in the many ways he has given back to our community. I have known George for over 10 years. We both had our kids uh, that went to Cardinal Mooney High School. But since entering Congress in 2007, I've relied on George as an informal advisor on health care issues. He has given me invaluable input on ways to help increase access to affordable, quality health care. He's a good friend and a family man, a sought-after cardiologist, a respected leader in the local, state, and federal medical communities, and a person of great integrity. I can think of no one else more deserving of the Edgar Price Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you and God bless. Dr. George Thomas, in 1999, we spearheaded together through the Manatee County Medical Society a program that is called We Care. It is a program for good and hardworking Manatee County residents who did not have health insurance and did not qualify for Medicaid. Manatee County Rural Health does an excellent job providing primary medical care in this community, but there was nothing in the community to help people who needed expensive surgery and did not have any health care coverage. They were falling through the cracks. It came about in the year 2000. Since then, the program with Manatee County Medical Society Physicians has donated every year about a quarter million dollars in free medical care, every year. George, this came about because of you and Brainton Cardiology. You have a heart of gold. We love you and Mary. George, Manatee County loves you. I cannot think of a better person to receive the Edgar H. Price Lifetime Achievement Award than Dr. George Thomas. Dr. Thomas has achieved so much in his life and in his 33 years in Bradenton. We are indeed fortunate that he and Mary call Braden home. Dr. Thomas has saved many lives through the practice of his specialty. I know I'm one of his patients while providing leadership in his profession. In fact, I understand there's a saying at Manatee Memorial, when Dr. Thomas speaks, everyone listens. I've had the privilege of knowing George and Mary for over 20 years. 
together with their sons, I believe that they embody the concept of service to others. Without a doubt, Florida and our community are better because they've been so generous with their time, their talents, and their home. Michelle and I are proud to call George and Mary our neighbors, and more importantly, our friends. Congratulations, George. I don't know of anyone who deserves this award more. I've known George Thomas since we both came to Manatee County over 33 years ago. Although we came from very different backgrounds and experiences, I quickly recognized his intelligence and integrity, not just as a physician, but as a person. We shared the same vision for the future of cardiovascular care in our community. Our symbiotic relationship was able to see that vision come true. The cardiovascular services and expertise available in Manatee County today is now on a par with any area of the state. George's contribution to our community extends well beyond his professional excellence. He and Mary's highest priority has always been family, as evidenced by the four sons they have raised. George's wisdom and integrity has made an important contributor to organized medicine on the local, state, and national level. It also speaks volumes of what a great country we live in, one that has been able to assimilate and benefit from such an outstanding person as George Thomas. First of all, my wife Carol and I want to congratulate Dr. George Thomas for receiving this honor. Not only is he a good friend, but a man whom I can trust with my heart, and I mean that literally. George once told me that I could eat cashew nuts, but only five per day. Now I ask you, who can eat just five cashew nuts? George can, I've seen him do it. He has been and continues to be a valuable part of our community. He's active in his church, his profession, and civic activities. He's a tremendous family man and with the help of his wife, Mary, has raised a great family. Congratulations, George. I've known Dr. Thomas since he came to Manatee Hospital September 15, 1978. Before I was an RN, I worked as an LPN in PICU at Manatee Hospital. In those days, we were assigned to the same rooms on the floor for months with the same RN, LPN, and aide. This was done so the nurse could get to know the patient from admission to discharge, thus providing quality care to the patient and being able to give the physicians a true report on a patient that we actually knew. Dr. Thomas came when cardiology was practiced by internists. Drs. Tian, Duke, and Silver practiced cardiology, but also practiced internal medicine. Dr. Thomas started a new era in cardiology. He and Ballard Smith were the only board-certified cardiologists practicing until Dr. Thomas recruited Dr. Ferraro. That brought quality care, which included standards of care for cardiac disease. In the 90s, Dr. Thomas started his new practice, which is now has over 10 cardiologists. We don't have to leave Manatee County to receive quality care anymore. Thank you, Dr. Thomas, for making Manatee County your home and stepping up to the plate by serving on the Florida Board of Medicine. Manatee County is proud of you, and so am I. It has been my pleasure to have known Dr. George Thomas for the past 30 years. During that time, I've come to realize he is a man of great integrity, diplomacy, and leadership. When you have many talented and skilled professionals in an environment such as medicine, it is important that all of these characteristics prevail. My friend George has been a sustaining strength in this community since his arrival. As a devoted husband and father of extraordinary young men, it is easy to see why he has been one of our greatest mentors. Because Senator Ed Price is a close personal friend of mine, and this award is named after him, I feel it is appropriate for Dr. George Thomas to be honored along with previous recipients, Pat Glass and John Cena McRae. All of these special individuals deserve our praise and appreciation. Congratulations, Dad! Dad, we'd like to congratulate you on uh, this award. Uh, we'd like to think that we're your greatest accomplishment, but we do know that you've done lots of amazing things throughout the uh, years, some of which we know, some of which we don't know. Um, I know that all of us can't be here, but uh, once again, for the many things you've done for us and for many other people, congratulations and we're very grateful. Dad, sorry we not able to be there, but thanks so much for your service to family, to 
Manatee County, to all society. By your example, you've led us, each one of us, you've taught us so much about, about how to live our own vocation, dedication of service to society. Thank you so much. Dad, I know we're all uh, sorry that uh, we couldn't be there to uh, congratulate you in person. We also know that this is one of many awards you've had uh, uh, in tribute to what you've done for patients, for your neighbors, for uh, society. And uh, we view this as motivation for our own lives and a great example for everyone in terms of how to, uh, uh, to live and contribute. And for that, we are ever grateful. Thank you. Dad, again, I want to sorry. I'm sorry we can't uh, be there today, but we're so proud of you. Uh, all of us know how much you've done uh, for everyone uh, in the community uh, in Manatee County and uh, elsewhere uh, throughout Florida and the nation. And uh, we're so proud of all you've accomplished. And again, um, you're such a, a shining example for us uh, in our own lives. Thank you again. One of the great things about knowing Mickey all these years is that he puts his heart and soul into a, an event like this because it's about people that he loves and respects. Joe, Hal, Pat, Senator Price, and Dr. George Thomas. And so, Mickey, if you will come forward and we will honor Dr. Thomas and his family. Selecting an honoree is never easy. Simply because we have so many who make a difference in our community. They generally go quietly about their business without needing any attention. And I think you all would agree that Dr. Thomas is one of those individuals. One of the great rules of truly successful people is that they give more in value than they take in payment. And I can assure you that Dr. Thomas did that probably when he started in cardiology. When you put the interests of others first, somehow God takes care of your needs. And Dr. Thomas personifies, in my opinion, one who does that. When you think about the traits and best, that best exemplify the requirements to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award, you think about hard work, honesty, stewardship, and even humility. You think about a person's success, not just personally, but what they've done for others. You think about leadership and the ability to step up when others wouldn't. Dr. Thomas fulfilled all these qualities and more. So I guess it really wasn't that difficult, Dr. Thomas, in selecting you tonight. This award is named after Senator Edgar H. Price, Jr., who is my great friend and was the first honoree to receive this award. He's a good friend to Manatee County Rural Health Services, and to be honest with you, without him, there would be no rural health. As everyone who's never met him will say, he's a very special individual. No one is more deserving as the namesake of this award than Senator Price. I'm proud to call him my friend, my advisor, and mentor. Unfortunately, Senator Price could not be with us here tonight, and I know you will all miss his special elegance and the command presence that he brings to this important event. Dr. Thomas, with you and your family, come forward to receive the award. You guys gonna come up?
This is the award. <laughs> Senator Edgar H. Price, Jr., Lifetime Achievement Award, 2011, to George Thomas, M.D. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Can't think of anybody that's more deserving. very much. <clears throat> I'm truly honored and I can only try to live up to the legacy of um, Edgar Price, Senator Edgar Price, the namesake of this award. Many of you I know, you understand I am not used to this kind of evenings. <laughs> I always hear Complaints, just pain, shortness of breath, dizziness, I'm not getting better. <laughs> Things are not improving. And so this is a very welcome, different environment. <laughs> and as you all know, there are so many physicians in our community who admirably serve the people of Manatee County. They are the true heroes. And I accept this award on behalf of all those who work every day to protect the health and well-being of our people. I must say this, of all the things I've been blessed with, there's none more important than the family I have and the talented and caring people I work with. <laughs> Let me tell you a long story in a couple of sentences. <laughs> it was over 32 years, somewhere around there, when we were finishing our training, Mary and me, we were going through five years of training, thought we will take a vacation and decided to visit Florida. The cheapest flight we could find was on People's Express. I don't know how many of you remember that airline. <laughs> and it took you from Newark Airport to a place called Sarasota Bradenton Airport. It was very simple getting out, a short straight road to 41. You have the option of making right turn or left turn. For us, it looked much easier to make the right turn, so we made the right turn. <laughs> we visited the town, met a lot of people. They were friendly. Some were suspicious about my name. <laughs> All of them appeared very helpful. The staff at the County Society, uh, Medical Society, one of them offered to uh, refer patients, provided I get staff privileges. And one day when we crossed the uh, Cortez Bridge, it reminded us of the home where we grew up, the other side of the world. We have the same geography, the sea, the bay, and the river. So we felt very much at home, and we decided to make bread in our home. When I first came here, I knew three people. Mary, 
George, who was less than two years, and Joe, Father Joe, Joseph, who was still an infant. Even though we started knowing not a soul, Mary and I are most grateful for the many friendships we have developed and the welcome and the kindness we have received over these years. Even more than that, even more, we are thankful for the opportunity to raise our four boys in this wonderful community. The opportunity and the privilege I was given to work and serve the people of Manatee County is a true testament to the uniqueness and the greatness of this community and our country. I want to take a moment to thank the Manatee Rural Health Services Foundation for the work they do. Wish them all the success. I especially want to thank their leadership, Mickey Prashe, Senator Price, Senator Mackey, Sheriff Charles, former Sheriff Charlie Wells, and all the board members. Mary, I want to thank all, all of you for sharing this evening with us. Father Mark, thank you for coming. Even though you missed the invocation by one minute <laughs> since you were stuck on Manatee Avenue, and I must tell you, George, little George had no choice but to come here because his mom told him to do so. Thank you again for this wonderful honor and your friendship. Thank you. Well, it has to make you feel warm when you see someone so deserving receive an award such as this. And so congratulations to Dr. Thomas and to his family. We are very, very proud of you. I want to, uh, in closing tonight, first of all, uh, Hal and Joe, we want to get some photographs. If you, would, if you guys would come up at the end of the program and also, um, Pat Glass. And I want to thank Charles Clapsaddle. For those of you that know him with METV, <clears throat> Charles' uh, participation in this event is immeasurable as he does the videos and he also films this uh, for METV. So thank you very much, Charles. With that, all the hard work that went into this tonight by staff from Manatee County Rural Health Services. Thank you all so very much. We ask you to drive safe on your way home and good night to you. Thank you for being here tonight.